six. Go. It's nine, nine, seven. Was that your social? Uh, <laughs> maybe. Uh, oh we God, we are laughing. It sounds like an ice like a grinder or something. We are live, folks. We're live. Yay. I am dead inside. Oh, Count. Oh. Okay. So we ready to start? Yeah. Yeah. When last we left our heroes, Adrian the Elf Paladin, Soma the Elf Cleric, Bagul the Orc Barbarian, Ramon the Elf Rogue, Sylvius the Human Fighter, and Grim the Half Elf Bard camped in the woods after a long fight with Babala Saga. During the middle of the night, uh, Swole stumbled upon their camp, and Bagul and Swole immediately hit it off while the rest of the group collectively died inside. <laughs> yeah, I like that arm wrestling. Muscle Man Unite. Oh. Grim insisted that the group visit Velaki after a particularly terrifying vision, but when they arrived in town, everything was normal. The group decided to follow up on Father Lucian's request to find the bones of St. Andral while they were in town. Uh, after talking to Father Lucian, they found that he suspected Milavage, the church gravedigger. Uh, the party found Milavage wandering around town, and after confronting him, uh, Milavage confessed that he stole the bones for Heinrich, the coffin maker. Uh, the party hurried to the coffin maker's shop and broke in, finding a terrified Heinrich, who immediately admitted that the bones were upstairs and that they were guarded by several vampire spawn. The party had a long, hard-fought battle, but escaped victorious. Barely. So, <laughs> barely. barely. <laughs> it, was a, it was close for a while. <laughs> yeah, was the, this, was, this is literally the lowest I've ever been. I didn't get hit. I'm good. Yeah, Sylvius and I stayed <laughs> in the back lines, but... Do you want to get hit? <laughs> Is that a threat, Bagul? I can kill you anytime. Sure, with your one hit point left. <laughs> I have more than that. Oh, wow. Listen, let's just take a calm... Oh my god, I just looked at the discard chat. Um... <laughs> god. Oh, I'm very distracted. Yeah. Okay, so you guys fought a bunch of vampire spawn, and... You guys all made it out alive. I'm gonna collect my arrows. Okay, you do that. I don't know how many. I also I collect my javelin. Oh, I didn't use. I used my silver bolt, so I had forty. I'm down to twenty nine. Okay. Yeah, you're able to. I mean, it's like an enclosed space, and one of your uh, bolts broke, or your javelin, so you're able to just collect all of them back. All right. I'm gonna go rush down to the downstairs. Can I? Can I pull out vampires? What? Can I pull out the vampire? Roll a survival check? I guess. <laughs> I swear, if they resurrect. Cough you, Peggy. Thank you. Eleven. You get a tooth. One tooth? Sure, yeah. Is everyone doing okay? That was, um, a little bit exciting. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Glad you, you see me just so. covered in, in blood. <laughs> Can I also take teeth from the vampires? Sure, roll a survival check. Oh my, alright, I'm, I'm going back <laughs> to the <laughs> one. You take um... out your own tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. No, no, you try to you, you try to pull it out, but your fingernail like pulls out instead. Oh no! 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 You try to take out the tooth, but it, you prick yourself on it. You take one point of piercing damage. Ow! Uh, can I pull out a brick from the wall as a souvenir? <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, roll a strength check. <laughs> Give me a sec. Oh god. Mm, indeed. That's a save. Oh, that's a save. Oh, that's a save. That's a save. That's okay, because you're going to roll better. Yep. Yeah, you, you just <laughs> rip out a, a brick from the wall. You now have a brick. Well, while they're destroying hey. the um, property, I'm going to try to find the bones. <laughs> okay, roll an investigation check. Alright, hey. I, where where is my character sheet? There you are. Investigation. 
17. You start looking into um, the different piles of wood um, and other crates, and you're able to find the bones. Alrighty. Hey, uh, Swole. That was yeah. a good fight. I like that. You almost died there, though. I saw you. I don't know. It was kind of it was kind of cute. I wanted to see how long it would last. Well, you know, even though we both have <clears throat> muscles, does not mean that people with no muscles are weaker than us. Are you sure, though? I mean, I came out alive from that battle. Well, that's why I became a wizard because there are some people without muscles that are much stronger than me. So I get both muscles and their magic to help me out, so I get more stronger than them. Uh, I wasn't able to comprehend. Uh, maybe... Oh, maybe yeah. Enlighten me. I'm kind of... No, I'm trying to I, figure out... I, I really just mean, why do you have brick? And why is there a hole in the wall? Um, I plan to fuse it into me. Maybe I can get more. I can muscle a brick. And oh, heal. that's yeah. smart. I only have this tooth. Maybe I can eat the tooth, and maybe I'll oh, turn even more into a vampire. Do you want to turn into a vampire? I mean, they seem pretty strong, Grim. So admittedly, this is true. Or you can learn how to convert your teeth to muscle. Well, I or you see, my teeth are already big enough, but I want them to be able to bite into brick. Maybe you could trade me that tooth, and I could give you the brick. No, I like the tooth. You go find your own tooth. Right. But while you're finding your own tooth, maybe I can help you out, and you also help me out by getting these bodies together so we can smash them into the wall. You know, just to fix the wall and put something in the hole. Gotcha, gotcha. Or we can pull out each and every teeth and then fill up the hole with teeth. No, I think it's much more funny to fill the hole up with bodies of vampires. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna lean kind of <laughs> towards Ramon. I don't think I've ever met anyone quite like them. Oh boy. Oh, Adrian, are you just like standing next to the wall? <laughs> I say that's a plan. His One day we get started. His, his head is on the wall in disappointment. <laughs> do we get started? Oh. Uh... A minute from now, so now. Okay. <laughs> oh, Silvius, you said you ran downstairs? Yeah, I, I kind of rushed downstairs to see if the guy was still there and Minnie. Yeah, Minnie's, Minnie's just sitting in front of him. And and he's still kind of just shaking and sitting in the, the chair. I wiped the blood splatter off my uh, my weapon. I'm like, well, we've dealt with, with your problem. Is the guy downstairs area? also a vampire? He talks very loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, what were they doing here? Why were they keeping you here? There, there was a, a someone who, who came up to me one night and he, he told me to, to steal the bones and that vampire spawn would be living in my house and that he would kill me if I, if I didn't let them. Who was the man? I don't know. I've never seen him before. What did he look like? He was wearing really dark clothes and a hooded cloak, so I couldn't see his face. And his voice, his mannerism, how tall. Was he um, thinly? Was he bulky? He was, um, I think probably... How, Sylvia, how tall are you? I am 5'10", I think. Uh, ooh, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, he's, I'm 5'10". Um, he's, he's a bit taller than you, uh, and um, 
I think he was well built. And his voice? Uh, very commanding. He was very intimidating. Wow. Where are the bones? They should be upstairs. Alright. Well, we're gonna take these back to the church where they belong. Okay. Just stay here as we try to find these. Thank you. Yeah. And he'll, he'll just sit and still cowering in his chair. I'll go back upstairs. Okay. The rest of you guys upstairs, are you trying to stuff bodies into the wall? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Grim is not. Yeah, um, I'm. I'm assuming just Bagul and uh, Swol. Um, I don't. I don't know what you would roll for this. A strength check. Oh, wrong strength. Oh. Oh, Bagul. Oh my God. Yeah, Bagul, you just <laughs> a body into the wall. <laughs> it's not a very large hole. It's just a brick-sized hole. So. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's horrible. Right, um, Wait. Grim, I'm gonna be sick. I'm going to leave. Um, I'll just start making <laughs> my way away. You could bend like that. Oh, God. The word bubble. Oh, man. Oh. I'm gonna go downstairs. Where are you, Where are you going? Oh, um, well, if you look over there, you'll see <coughs> there's some interesting activities going on. I uh, will prefer to not see. Yes. Well, if you're gonna go downstairs, just keep an eye on the guy. I could do that. You're a little bit more persuasive, so maybe you can uh, talk to him about trying to find, trying to figure out who the guy was that talked to him and brought these vampires and told him to steal the bones. Tell him to steal the bones. A guy told him to do it besides the vampires. Yeah, some um, man about a little bit higher, taller than me, had a cloak on, demanding voice. He can remember um, what he looked like, but um, maybe he could be a little bit more persuasive. Well, I'll do my best, I suppose. Yes. Well, alright. Alrighty. Everyone okay? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of worried for Bakul. I can't really... <clears throat> My finger hurts. Sorry, I'm back. Oh, it's okay. Did you need healing, Soma? This job yeah. stuffing the vampires. Proud of you. Thanks, I'm proud of you too. High five. I extend out my hand. Uh... Where's the five? I can't see it. Is it down, or...? Up. Oh no, you count the fingers, see? One, eight, One, eleven, eight, eleven, nineteen, five. Are you sure it's nineteen or seventeen? I don't know, it might be twenty-one. Why? I guess it's oh, twenty-one. Kick him, kick him, kick him out. Twenty-one. <laughs> So Did what are the rest of you guys doing? Are you guys Sorry. just watching the horrible how scene? Is, how, is, yeah. how is Swole looking? Uh, it's okay, I have uh, I have a few marks and uh, blood stains, but I can get over it. Did you all find the bones? You're not bloodied. Uh, um, Both of us are very bloodied. Yes. Yes. Kind of bloodied he's he's bloodied. beyond bloodied. That's what bloodied I'm saying, isn't it? Isn't swole bloody? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean you have a few scratch marks, dude? I'm pretty sure you're fucking dead. I only <laughs> Yeah, you guys are like beat to shit right now. He has but a flesh wound and his arms laying on the ground. <laughs> just yeah, like flesh wound. I use can I use half lay on hands for both? Like split it evenly between them. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I'll heal them I'll I'll give him I'll give Swole fifteen, then I'll give Bagul fifteen. So that'll be all my lay on hands. 
Thanks. Will that be temporary or current? It's current. 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 It's permanent. Yeah. You'll add 15 right. to your current. But Thanks, remember man. your new maximum. Oh, that doesn't even come close to reaching his new maximum, don't worry. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no. He's still <laughs> He's still fucked. I I mean uh... Thank you, man. Maybe one day I'll donate you a muscle for your contribution. <laughs> oh my god. Appreciate the offer. Wait, you can donate a muscle? <laughs> well Yeah, I mean... um I mean I have a I've been told I have too much, so I've been looking for ways to donate and I've donated to my to my uh Little little town pro providing for my people. I've Aww. been donating uh, muscle. They say blood would help, but I mean, I only had muscle to provide. I've never had too much muscle. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you can have too much. You can inspect all of my muscles. Maybe as a wizard of muscle or whatever you are, you could donate muscle to other people too, you know. Or other oh. people could donate their muscles to me, and I get more muscles. Mm, never oh. thought of it that way. What are the rest of you guys doing? Wait, are, you... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. are they still bloodied? Yes. Jesus, yeah, um, we're still bloodied. Can I use cure wounds on swole? Yeah. What level? Okay. First level. Uh, Basically. swole, you heal for eight. Okay, and I'll- I'll use cure wounds on, uh... Uh, bug wool. Okay. There you go. Uh, so that now I owe two muscles? <laughs> Three, I forgot. You don't owe me anything. I mean... I'm not a wimp, I can put- I can pay back, you know? No, you would've been fine if it weren't for me. Consider <laughs> this payment. Bless you. There's a silence. Alrighty. Oh, fuck, man. Wait, who's who's healing who? Don't I healed Mr. Back I healed you for four. Mr. Swole was healed for eight. So the that one I rolled a sec. I don't know what someone just rolled. That's that's a... Yeah, just ignore it. Just ignore it. I'm, I'm healed for Never four mind. More. You healed for four more, yeah. That's the best I could do. Because I'm out of spell slots. You're welcome. How are you holding up, Raman? I am... well enough. Have you found the bones? No. Uh, Raman, you would have seen, um... Grim digging through a bunch of crates and finding some bones. I believe had them. Well, let's just... Everyone, take a take as much time as y'all need, and we'll all look around for the bones. So around the crates. If, if 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 you want bones, I can just text. Them. Not God that damn one. it, bro! Wait, Peggy, did you say that? Um, yeah, I Grimm? said. I, wait, did y'all not hear me? I said, uh, I believe Grim has them. Oh, Grim has the bones. Oh, I didn't hear that. Oh. Huh, I said it. Really? Oh well. Oh, okay. Mm. Are we looking for bones in our body or bones of. I forgot. Don't worry about it. We just need to get what we came here for and we'll leave. Alrighty. If you're ready to go, I would suggest going downstairs so we can head off. Alrighty. Should I go dig, dig a hole downstairs? And... Go downstairs, or should I walk just, through the door? Just take the stairs. Alrighty. Meanwhile, um... Uh, hello there, um... I, uh... The vampires you don't really have to worry about anymore. Yeah, the, the other guy told me. Thank no. you for that. Well, of course. Uh, he told me that, um, a particular person came and asked you not only to steal the bones, but to house the 
vampires. Really asked. Mm -hmm. he, 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 he more so forced me to do it. Hmm. Well, that wasn't very kind and or generous. Um, do you have any sort of idea what this person looked like or sounded like? He'll shake his head. No, like like I told the other guy, he uh, he was wearing a dark cloak. And I couldn't really see him. Do I believe him? Roll an insight. Okay. Sixteen. Yeah, he's just very nervous. Huh. Alrighty. Well. I don't have the proper spell to help me in this situation, so I guess that's um that's all I can do really. Tell you what. I'm going to make considering that you're telling us the truth, I'm going to realize that this isn't your fault and we're just going to um Ow Leave. Oh, what is happening? I don't know, I just heard a bunch of like it sounded like drums and then Yeah, what was that? your mind mortal. Did someone break the sound barrier? <laughs> Is it you, Pokul? Um, oh. I'm going to... We're just going to leave and pretend this never happened. Um, however, there are a few vampires upstairs, which... Uh, you might need I, I to thought, take care of. I, I thought you said they, they were taken care of. Oh, no, no, they're taken care of, but not taken care of, if you know what I mean. The bodies are in your room. Oh god, don't walk up behind me like that. That scares me every time. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I, I do have coffins I, I could use. and That would make good yes <laughs> for them. <laughs> Alright. What a perfect environment. <laughs> I know. We'll be going now. Are we ready to go? We should. Alright. Ta ta. I'm gonna start walking out the door. I follow. Alrighty. And. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest with you all. I was terrified for our lives. That was yeah, that take. was that was pretty hard. <sighs> and to think it happened in Valaki, the one place I thought was safe. I think I need to get stronger. Can someone donate me their muscle? Unfortunately, I don't have anything to donate. I kind of gesture at my limp arm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Swall. Yeah. Do you think we can trade muscles? <laughs> <laughs> um, like, what if I gave you one muscle and you gave me another muscle? Do you think we'll like we'll that? Wouldn't be a fair trade. To be like the biggest and the baddest and the most strongest muscle wizard. Uh, I think if we fuse our muscles together, we will become. And then split apart, then we be can become two individuals of equal power, with the powers of both muscles. Oh. Anyways, how um, do we fuse? <laughs> why don't we just keep going over to the to, to the priest? I'm gonna start walking in that direction while they're having okay. this conversation. Oh, oh, I'll them. Grim, you have the bones. Mm. Make oh, yes, later. I do. All right. Somewhere. I don't know where I put them, but I, I guess I'm carrying them somewhere. Well, double check, make sure. I don't want to have to make two trips. Alrighty. I'll double check to make sure I have the bones. Yeah, they're, they're kind of like, do you carry a bag with you? I think I have an entertainer's pack, so yes. Okay, then yeah, they're just in your bag. Alongside my instruments. <laughs> so it's kind of... Uh, kind of keep pace with uh, Adrian. So, 
coming a little late there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry, keep going. What is that about? Preston. <laughs> Did his connection die? Oh no. Preston! No! No! Oh no, bad news. He says, gotcha. oh, bad news. Can't hear anything. Anything. Okay. Um... Silent treatment. Tri silent treatment, huh? I guess we'll return don't, to this later. Don't feel bad about it. You should. <laughs> 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 yeah. Alright, I'll we'll just keep on walking then. Okay. Okay, so you guys just uh, keep on walking. Thank you very much. There it was. <laughs> There it was. Uh, until you get to St. Andral's church. What church? time of day is it at this point? Um, It's probably like mid-afternoon. Gloomy with a sight of gloom. I think it's what time, not how the weather was. I am the ghoul. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it's about mid-afternoon-ish. All right. I guess this is for the good. I'm going to knock on the door. Or not knock, I'm just going to walk in because it's a church. That'd be dumb. Yeah, you walk in and you see Father Lucian. Is uh, Milavage there? or? No, Milavage isn't there. It's just Father Lucian. He's kind of sweeping the floors, cleaning up. Um, good evening, or afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Did you find the bones? Mm, kind of open my sack and show it to him. Huh? And he'll he'll just breathe a sigh of relief. Th thank you very much. Well, of course. It was um a little bit more of a hassle to get than we were expecting. What do you mean? Well. You're correct in assuming that Milovaj was the one to um, steal them. Did he put up a fight? Not really at all. He was doing it for money. Somebody asked him to do it, and so he did. And the money he gave to his siblings, who apparently aren't doing very well. Do you know much of that? Yeah, a lot of people in this town aren't doing too well. Hmm. Well, anyways, it's uh, he was just trying to do something to help them out. Um, okay. And Who paid him? The coffin maker. Huh. And when we went there to interrogate him, he pointed at us up upstairs to where there were seven vampires. Did, did everyone in your party make it out alive? A gesture to the party. Well, for the most part. Hi. We're comparing muscles right now. <laughs> As usual. That's, that's good to hear. May yes. I? He'll gesture towards the bones. Sure. I'll hand them over. Okay. You wouldn't know um, anybody who would want to give the bones to vampires, would you? The coffin maker I'm... said he was forced into doing it by a strange, mysterious figure. I'm not sure. I honestly didn't know who else would know about the bones until I told Yesko. You know, I think that strange, mysterious figure may have been Mr. Uh, what was his name? It started with like an S. Does it end with all? Maybe, honestly. Wait, that's your name. <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> <laughs> I... um, but I'm Mr. Small, not Small. I'd be oh, having the wrong person. We can't, we can't forget the mister. Um, and to be completely honest with you, Begil, that doesn't really narrow down the options. 
Oh, I think I remember. I think he was named Strahd. Right. Well, I suppose he could be him. Uh, he invited us to dinner. It was very nice. I bet he did. Father Lucian's eyes just go wide when he hears that. Uh, you want to go to dinner with us? No, thank you. If I wasn't invited, I'd rather not go. Oh, right. Humans would call it rude to do so. To do so. Uh, if you would excuse me for a second, I'm gonna go put the bones where they belong. Of course. Someone's body? Body? <laughs> so he'll 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 go into a side door and yeah. Just ignore Soul's question. <laughs> I would say he was like already starting to walk away, so he didn't hear it. Okay. Damn, Ollie, you hear that? Yeah, I guess I'll just what? go and run away in sadness, <laughs> looking for more muscle. You know, I've heard legends of places where you could pluck muscles off of trees, much like apples. Whoa. Wait, you can? Well, legends are legends, but you know, they're based on truth. So, maybe there is. Wait, why would you pluck apples from trees? Why don't you just punch the tree and make the apples fall? I suppose that's also an option. Um, but, I mean, we can't just assume there's gravity everywhere. What if the apples fly instead? That's right. Maybe I mean, it. Gravity. Legend could say that gravity is inverted in some places, you know. What does inverted mean? That's a big word. It yeah, means um. Opposite, opposite of what it is. Oh, so well, the I would. What's the opposite of muscle? Me. Uh, I'm sure you have muscle to donate. Uh, I, I, I really don't. Um, I'm pleased to Do you want me it. to donate one of my muscles to you? I'm just going to be the voice of reason here and say that's probably a bad idea. Oh, okay. Does everyone need a... I mean, it's worth a try. Do we have a search in here? It Does everyone me. need some time to rest at the tavern? It's yeah. probably a good idea. I was just going to wait for the priest to come back. But if y'all want to go ahead, you can. Yeah, I need a drink. Alright, I'll meet you there. You remember how to get there, right? No, but I'm going anyways. Oh boy. Okay, so who's going where? I guess I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay, stay in. I'll stay in the church. Okay. Same. It's green. Um, so who's going to the tavern? Me. Anyone else? <laughs> Maybe somebody should go with him just to make sure he doesn't get lost. <laughs> oh, no, I trust Bugwool. Seems like a smart and independent man. To be completely honest with you, Mr. Slow, you look pretty bad yourself. You might could do with a drink or two. Nah, just give me some dumbbells and I should be fine. <laughs> some what? Some dumbbells. Imagine that you're at you're at like the uh, at the gym, <laughs> you see this big ass dude, and instead of like drinking everywhere. instead of drinking instead of drinking water, he just picks up the weights, and you see his like himself getting more rejuvenated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just saw MK minutes. Doom is playing sound pad. Hmm. What? Mortals playing sound pad. Maybe that's the um, sound we heard earlier. <laughs> maybe. Um. Yeah. So, about like a few minutes pass, and uh, Father Lucian walks out. Everything in order. Yeah, it should be now. Now you tell me that those bones protect the town. Can you explain how? Um. The bones are blessed. 
And uh, so if they are in their proper place, they at least give the, the church a um, sort of sacred area where vampires can't get in. Well, that's very good then. I'm glad they're back. Yes. Thank you very much for bringing them back. Of course. Um, can I can I have a private word with you real quick? Um, of course. Uh, I guess the, you guys will walk up to the front of the church while the rest of you guys are standing near the door. I thought I was going to the tavern. Well, yeah, you're you're on your way to the tavern. Okay. Do I have to roll survival check? Sure. <laughs> Let's go meeting new people. Or dying. The DC is really not that high. Yes. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> yes. Uh, even though the tavern is literally one right street across. down, it's literally just down the street. You somehow manage to get lost. Yes. Somehow. Can I meet? Can I meet new people? I'm gonna go ask for help. Um. Roll a d4. Ooh. Ooh. You start Ooh. heading down this street, because uh, you exit here. Oh, wait, let me not snap. Uh, you head out of here, and then you take a right instead of just keep going down. I so... Huh? I'm, like, right here. No, you're going to end up here. Ooh, okay. Sorry, don't mean to take away. Go ahead with the other party. Yeah. Um, listen, Father, I, uh, I have a bit of a gift where I can see the future. Okay. And I saw this church in flames. So, um, if this church... Is it flames? That's probably safe to assume. The rest of the town will be. Uh, and I don't know if there's any way for me to prevent it, but I'm going to ask you to be very careful. Okay, I I will. And you said that um, the only person that Milovaj could have learned about the bones from was was who? Yeska. I I, I think I I told Yeska about a month ago. Because he was worried that the town would be attacked by vampires or werewolves or something. So I told him that the bones would uh, would protect us. Alright, um, can I have a word with him? I just want to make sure that he doesn't tell anybody else. Sure. Um, he's over here. And then he'll take you, I guess, into like a storage room where they keep candles or something. And Yeska's in there just organizing some stuff. Hello, Yeska. Um, hi? My name's Grim. Um, uh, I'm going to get straight to the point. Um, did you tell Milovaj the location of the bones? Yeah, I, I, I did. Why in the world He's would really... you do that? He's really big and scary. He also carries a shovel around. I didn't want to get hit with it. <sighs> Alright, fair enough. Listen. You're gonna have to do better than that. Just lie. Pretend you don't know where it is. <sighs> okay. If other people find out about this, it won't be good. I... I know. Okay. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to believe you. I'm going to leave. Well, that was fun. Perhaps I should go back to the tavern and take a rest. Are you saying that to the rest of the group? Mm-hmm. Okay. No response. Um, have y'all found the dumbbells? <laughs> God. Uh, I... Let's go. 
at the tavern. All right, hey. Start heading that way. So meanwhile, Bagul, you end up in front of a um, in front of a very nice mansion. Oh. Wait a minute. That doesn't look like the tavern. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, the no. mansion has walls of plastered stone that have a lot of scratches and nicks on it. So you can tell that it's pretty old. And there's drapes that cover every window. Is there anybody near me right now? No. Nobody's near me? Not really. Huh. Um, there are, like, people walking around, like, you know, the street and whatnot, but not, like, and there's no one, like, right next to you, but... You know, I was just asking if I can, like, pull someone from the street to, like, ask them questions. Yeah, you can. Hey, uh... Hey, you, I don't know your name. I apologize. Uh, you, you, apologize. <laughs> You pull over a woman, uh, carrying a bundle of twigs. Uh, yeah? What's that mansion? That's not the, uh... The, the tavern. No, uh, this is the Burgomaster's, uh, mansion. What's a Burgomaster? She'll squint at you, like, what the hell? Uh, he's... Like the the leader of this this town. Oh, that that Baron Vigas Valkichi. Baron Valakovic. Yeah. So why does his house look? Ah, yes, fart right in my ears. <laughs> Someone's moving around a lot. Why does his house look... ...scary? It's not scary, it's just... I mean, a bit aged. Well, all of the windows are covered. Yeah, cause you don't want anyone looking into your house. Huh. Is it polite at human customs to knock before you enter? Yes. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna go up to the mansion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock at the door. Um, when you, uh, the front door's open, and a maid, um, looks up at you like, okay... Are you Hi. here to meet the Baron? Sure, I just wanted to see what's in the house. And uh, it's polite in human customs to knock before you enter, right? Yes, of course. So may I enter now? Yes, you you may. Oh. <laughs> Out of, above game? That was fucking easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got in. Yay! You got in with no problem. All right. I go in. Okay. Uh. Right. Give me a second to. Oh my god. Why are you like this? <laughs> and swear to God. Okay. She'll lead you down the hall and into a room on the right where you see. Um, some chairs and, uh, Sean, I'm sorry if you didn't plan for this. Yeah. So you see some chairs and couches, um, and there's a very nice carpet on the ground. Um, it smells like smoke and cigars, question mark? I don't know. And, um... You see, on the east wall is the head of an angry-looking brown bear. Uh, and the maid will lead you into the room and say, um, please, uh, wait here. I'm 
gonna go get the Baron. Oh, okay, thanks. So she'll leave. Meanwhile, you guys are walking down the street to the tavern. There's a brown bear, bear on the wall? Yes, the head of a brown bear on the wall. Honestly, so honestly, I'm glad to be back. It's been a crazy past few days. We've done a lot if we think about it. Yeah. <laughs> great, great talk. All right, cool. <laughs> um, Everyone's oh. a little bit on edge. Well, I think once we get to the tavern, everyone will loosen up. Exactly. Nothing like a few beers or wine, depending on what you drink, to loosen up the tongue. Um, I'll open up the door once we get there. Mhm. Mm you get there. You don't see Bagul. Oh no. Um, does anybody else see the lack of a, of a Bagul? Um, my gator senses are kind of tingling, and I <laughs> sense a high density of muscle in a building nearby. I'm not sure how that works, but, um... <laughs> Our muscles are now synced together. <laughs> Oh uh, Erwin's gonna look up uh, they call from us the, the bar group. as you walk in, um, or as you at least open the door. Mm, he's just gonna say, "Grim, you're back." Um, hi. Uh, our big green friend uh, didn't come through here, did he? No. Was he supposed to come through here? Well, yes, he was. We were supposed to meet him here. Wonderful. Um. Um, should have cast a hunter's mark on him before he left. <laughs> Not Lin Mar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there anything I can do about this? How much does it fuck up the game? Not very much at all. Yay. We can go outside and ask around. Well, I, I mean, you guys haven't been exploring much, so. Oh no. Okay. Well. If any of you need a rest, I suppose you could take it here and the rest of us can go looking. I'm perfectly fine. By now, by the way, temporary hit points are no longer existing. Yeah, I gotcha. And inspiration that I may have given out. So, um, anybody who needs a rest, feel free to take it. I'm going to go looking for Bugle. Alright, I'll take along. Okay. <laughs> Along? <laughs> oh, shit. Well... Did you say take a long rest, or...? No, I said I was going to tag along. I just follow you. Oh, oh tag I, along. I heard, I heard take take along. I was yeah, like, yeah, I pass just... out on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, who's who's going to find Bagul? Me. May. Rumble. Um. Wait, okay. Re better question. Is anyone staying at the tavern? I am. Okay. Jester. And so does the does the tavern have a pull up bar for me to rest while sitting in the pull uh, while staying in the pull up position? Maybe I can heal wounds by doing pull ups in my sleep. Roll a perception check. Imagine Eight. being so fucking ripped. You need to work out just to rest. <laughs> you don't see a pull-up bar. Oh, okay. I'll go look for Bugle with my senses. Okay. Uh, so, Sylvius, you just sit down at the bar. Yeah, I'll order a drink and... Yeah, just drink for now. Preston! Yep, Erwin will bring you out a drink. Uh, the rest of you guys, um, are you guys just gonna, like, ask around, or just keep walking around until you see them? 
Didn't we hear him say he's going to the tavern? Yeah. yeah. But I okay. didn't. We just went to the tavern and he wasn't there. <laughs> My bad. I suppose, yeah. We'll just have to ask around, see if anybody's seen... Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to miss a bagel, to be completely honest with you. I guess roll an investigation check. Who wants to do it? Hmm. Uh, I can do it. Alrighty. I will help. Also, I don't know if you mm. meant, were meant to have any music. Um, I have ambiance. Yeah, it's an ambiance yeah. going on right now. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, your volume is all the way low, Jester. <sighs> okay. Uh, 14. Okay. So you guys ask around, and you see that, um, and you hear that he's, uh, that people have seen a big green fellow from, uh, not from, heading towards the Burgomaster's house. No. Why Mansion, he, rather. Why would he go there? He probably just got lost. Oh boy. Alrighty. Well, I know where that is, so you can follow me. I'll lead them in that way. Okay. Um. Oh What's my it, god. Fuckery? Uh, back to Bagul. Um, you wait for a few minutes, and the maid comes back with a very well-dressed, thin man. Uh, he's wearing a red kind of robe-looking thing. Don't have to describe it. Um, yeah, and he's gray-ish. Doesn't look... Describe, hmm? describe him again. Okay, so he's wearing, like, a very bright red robe. Um, he's kind of thin and has really thin, wispy hair. Uh, and, yeah, he's kind of gray-ish. And he also has two very large pet mastiffs following him. Uh, hi. Hello. I think... What brings you to my home? Wait, I think it's human custom to introduce ourselves first. I'm... I'm Bagul. Nice to meet you, Bagul. I am Baron Vargas Velikovich. Can I just call you Baron? Your name is very long. Yes, you can. I'm sorry for intruding. That is no problem at all. What brings you to my home? Oh, I got lost. I was trying to look for this tavern, but I don't know the name of it. The Blue Water Inn? Yeah, I think that's it. <coughs> But I told my friends I, I was going to be there, so I think I should go now. I'm sorry for intruding. Not at all. No problem at all. And he'll nod what? to the maid. Um, oh. to... You have very nice puppies, by the way. Thank you. They're very well-bred. They're cute. Can I pet them? I would prefer if you don't. Okay. What is it that you do here? I throw festivals to make the town's mood brighter. Oh, that seems fun. You seem like a very fun person. Thank you. Would you like to be a special guest in the next festival? A special guest? Yes. What do I have to do? Not very much at all. You just have to tell everyone that all will be well. Wait, like everybody in the town? Yes. Coming along I... with me during the next festival to tell everyone that all will be well. 
Oh, okay, I could do that. That sounds perfect. But why me, though? Because you seem like a very nice fellow. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bless you. Thank the you. next festival will be the Festival of the Blazing Sun in two days. Festival of the Blazing Sun. Has, has I, have I ever seen the sun? Whenever I came here. Since no. I came here. Not really. That's kind of weird. I haven't seen the sun in a while. Well, that's why we, we make a wooden effigy of the sun. Oh. What's an effigy? I don't know. Let me look that up. <laughs> oh I, don't know. <laughs> I sort of know what it is, but I don't know like the definition of it. Think, oh, think it's, like, it's a model. Think like, think like voodoo doll. Yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't sure whether it was like a symbol or it, like I, I know what it is. It's a symbol. Yeah, it's like a model. Yeah. Um, like, it's uh, like, like a, the Burning a Man. Symbol. Yeah. It's a symbol of the sun. Oh. Do you praise it because you haven't seen it in a while? Well, vampires are afraid of the sun. And so we worship it. Oh. Um, does he look like a vampire to me? No. Not really. I mean, you saw vampires, and you can tell that, like, you, I mean, you just fought them. They were yeah, yeah that's dead why I'm, I'm... and lifeless, and they didn't talk at all. And he's having a conversation. Okay. But compare, comparing to, like, Strahd. No. Because okay, I have seen Strahd before. Yeah, you have. Oh. Oh, that's right. I killed, like... Six vampires today. Where? I don't know. They were in like some boxes. Hmm. Were and they then here? I. I think. And hmm. then I killed them, and my friend and I put them in walls. Well, <laughs> we put them in a hole oh, that God. was in the wall. All that six sounds... of them in one hole. That sounds very adventurous of you. <laughs> it was. They hurt me a lot, so I think they deserve to be squished in one wall. Yes. Was this here in Balaki? Yeah. Where? I don't know, it was like a house with uh -huh. boxes. Was it the coffin maker's shop? I really don't know. My friends were just the ones talking and I'm there to protect them. Mm. They're not very powerful without me, so I have <laughs> to be the one to protect them. My mom, after all, said that Humans are very weak and frail. Hmm. Uh, would you wait right here for me? Okay. But I kind of have to go to my friends. I yeah. said that I was going to meet them at the tavern. Right. Uh, my maid will lead you out then. Oh, okay. It was very nice meeting you, Bagul. Nice meeting you, too, Baron. He'll nod at you, and he'll uh, walk off. And the maid leads you to the front door, where when you open it, or when she opens it, rather, you get you look outside and you see Grim and the rest of them, minus Sylvius, walking down the street. I'm going to turn to the maid. Oh, there's my friends. Thank you for having me. Thank you for visiting. Oh, um... 
is there any place where I can get these like red potions that heal you? Uh, I've seen no such thing. I'm gonna pull out my healing potion like this. We don't have anywhere in uh, Velaki that sells that. Oh, okay. Thank you, though. You have a good day. I'm gonna go to my friends now. She'll nod at you. Bye. And yeah, the door shuts there. behind you. Hi. Well, you haven't, you, you had an adventure? Yeah, I met the, uh, the Burger Master Baron Vigas Belenok of Paju. Well, yeah, you, you make quite an impression upon him, I'm sure. You must, He's you must. A nice man. I mean, yeah, he, he has, um, you missed the tavern by a little bit. Oh, did I? Yeah, we'll take you back. Oh, okay. What'd oh, you learn yeah, while you were there? Well, I'm supposed to be a guest at the, uh, at the next Sun Festival. And I'm supposed to say that everyone is well. Ah. Or is it to say to everyone that all is well? No, I think it's everyone is well. It's, um... It's something like that, huh? Um, Alright. Well, that complicates matters a little bit. Why? Well, it means we have to stay here for a few more days. Oh. But he said it was next week. Did he? I would know when the festival was, right? <laughs> yeah. It's you know that the festival is in two days, based on the signs in oh, the city. I thought, you said, I thought you said next week. No, two days. No, I said in two days. Oh, I <laughs> For some reason I heard next week. Okay, I didn't no, know if yeah. that was just Bagul stupid or Ryle stupid. <laughs> no, like, I... No, I, for some reason um, I'm thinking it's the same week. thing, isn't it? <laughs> when, uh, uh, yeah, it is. Um, it actually is. That's why I'm playing him. When it's yeah, his grim, when you were walking through the town square, you saw Izek and um, other town guards putting up uh, signs. I think it's in two days. Oh, okay. You should be honored I... and or terrified. It's really up to you, really. <sighs> Why should I be scared? Ah, well, if you don't do it, you might end up um, in the stocks, for example, and then people will laugh at you, which is less than fun. It's always good uh, to be uh, sure you have well, good image. people yourself. laugh at me, that means they're having a good time. Well, I guess that's one way you could look at it. And it's good for everybody to have a good time, as my mom always said. Well, your mom sounds like a very wise woman. And very... I shut her a little bit. Very powerful. Really now. Tell you what, we'll go get a drink and we can talk about it. Ah. Oh yeah. While we're here, don't tell this to Hatman, but the Baron had two nice little puppies that were very cute. Did they look like um? Oh God, what's your dog's name, Jester? Remember. M Maggie. <laughs> Fuck you, nothing. <laughs> I, I legitimately don't remember. And I, thought... I can't tell if this is Grim stupid or Ren. <laughs> you can because I'm I'm out of character. <laughs> so. Mini. Mini. I was close. Okay, listen. No, you weren't. Maggie, Maggie and Mini. Listen, Who I the had the. Fuck is Maggie? <laughs> no man. <laughs> I knew it grim. started with an M and it had two same letters in the middle. And it had an uh -huh. E at the end. So. I'm not sure. I was close. In my heart of hearts, I was close. Guys, are uh, you all good? Everyone's quiet. I'm just like really, really tired today. I don't know why. I'm kind of looking for a pull up bar. <laughs> God damn it. Preston, are you back yet? Preston! He died. His, his whole computer is dead. 
Oh well. Okay. Yeah, we'll just go back to the tavern, I suppose. Okay. Um, yeah, you just head back to the tavern and you see Sylvius there drinking. It's about late afternoon now. We're back. We found our green friend. Hi. Why does it sound wet in here? There's a leak. Oh. Should I dry it up for you? God. How do we dry it up? I don't know. I just just heard someone complain that it's too wet. Hey, Dr Danica. Yeah. Do you have the Red Dragon Crush still? Yes. I'll have one of those, please. Hello? 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 Hello. <laughs> Hello. That's more erotic than it needed to be. Hello. Okay. Hey. I'm assuming the rest of you guys ordered food as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you guys get food, and I guess that's dinner for you guys. Yay, how much does it cost? Um, Erwin tells you that it's free. Free? Nice. All right. helped bring back one of the gems to my father, so... Seems fair enough. You wouldn't happen to know where the, um, third gem would be, would you? No, that's the one he blames me for losing. Yeah. Why does he blame you for losing it? It went missing on my watch. <laughs> Uh, um, that does make uh. sense, I suppose. I also heard you fought Bobola Saga. Did you now? Man, things fly up the grave, uh, grapevine real quickly. I said gravy train on accident. Oops. <laughs> Quite. Communication travels fast. Yes, and so does the gravy train. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd I say that? I'm surprised you all made it out alive, but I believe good you. on you. I am as well. Have you ever heard of somebody by the name of Esmeralda? Esmeralda? Mm-hmm. Uh, she's traveled through here a few times. Really? In the past. How long has she been here? Uh, she'll come through every few years. Huh. So, as long as I've been here, or longer? Longer. <sighs> she hasn't come through for a while, but, I mean... Well, she made an appearance while we were fighting Babel Lasagna. Did she now? Yeah. Baby Lasagna. Baby Lasagna. Preston, you could type in the, um, in Roll20, then we could see you. Or yeah, try using your phone, maybe. Mm -hmm. There we go. Holy shit, bro, who is spamming? Hmm? Preston. <laughs> Alrighty. Did she help much? Well, quite a lot from what I can say. I'm surprised I've never met well, her. She's doing well, then. Oh, uh. doing well. She doesn't come here very often, but... Does she usually stay here? No, not. She doesn't usually stay. She'll come to visit, but... Visit? What does she talk about? Uh, not much. She'll just walk through here. Sometimes ask for a drink or two. She doesn't spend long. She doesn't stay long. Have you seen her with anyone else? No, she usually travels by herself. You seem very interested in her. Hmm. Fair enough. I'm going to make an early departure to bed. Today has been somewhat um, stressful and not enjoyable. Um, but I will see you in the morning. Oh, and by the way, um, Bagul is uh, now committed to um, being a special guest at the upcoming festival. What do you mean? 
the bear burgomeister uh, he somehow found his way into the burgomeister house the burgomeister asked him to be a special guest hi yeah or when are you saying that like out loud or just to Sylvius? I'm saying it to Sylvius, but I'm not trying to be super quiet about it. Okay. Erwin's gonna look at you, Begul, and uh, he'll say, "It would be very rude to turn down a nobleman's request." Yeah, it's rude to turn down any request. Did your mom tell you that as well? Yeah. Wait, what was I not supposed to tell Sylvius? I totally forgot. Oh, don't tell him that I found the dogs cuter than... That's right, that's right. <laughs> okay. Then, then Missy. Just making sure I didn't just say it. <laughs> and I didn't say Missy, sir. Oh, right, you said Mary. No, I didn't say that either. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck did you say? <laughs> did, if you didn't, don't remember. Melanin? This. And that's not the name. It's not Melanin. Oh yeah, I guess I should take you to the um, inn map. Yeah. yeah, the inn sounds very. The inn sounds very wet, Michelle. That's just the ambiance from outside. I see. I don't have tavern music. Um, if you. Dogs can contribute. Dogs can contribute. Is that what you said? If, if you can. If you yeah. can go to uh, Incompetech yeah. and type in Ike Kadeik or something like that. What? Just just go to A's. It has a very weird name. Um... It's like Ike. Ike Kadeik or something like that. Let me see. Yep. Hey. That's okay. more like it. Yeah. Since it's late afternoon, um, you guys see people starting to walk in. Oh, it's still late That's afternoon. Well. Okay, I won't turn to bed then. Just kidding. Yeah, you just see people start walking in. Can I take a short rest at the very least? Yeah, you guys can have a short rest here. Well, I'm gonna spend a couple of my hand dice. Three of them. If we're going to be staying here a while, then I'm going to play a bit of music for you. And this counts as a song as song of rest, so each of you gets an extra D6 of health. Healed back to you. By the way, we haven't taken a long rest, right? No long you have rest. Not. No, we haven't. Okay. Hello. How long is the short rest? Rest is. Is it working? It is. Yes. We Thank hear God. the dulcet sounds of your voice. Can, can we can we no, it's can we okay. hit the rewind button? What would you have responded to? It's Sylvia? rewind time. It's, it's rewind. How would you have responded to? Did, I, did I miss something? Sidley has yeah. asked you as you were leaving uh, the church. Hot. Um. Okay. Why you were late in coming into the battle? Why we'll talk about that in a moment? Okay. Yeah, he can bring it up. He can bring okay. it up later. Okay. Okay. Just just act like Adrian shoved off the question like he didn't want to talk about it. Okay, fair enough. Um, just by the way, Ali, uh, you only go up to your uh, temporary max. Yeah. If you roll hit dice, you uh, don't just automatically do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, ro only... you roll high enough. Yeah, I, I've only healed myself by two, and it has not. Uh, yeah, I have not crossed my hit point maximum. You don't my want to roll. Your, you don't want to roll your hit dice. Rest. Repeat that again. You don't want to roll your hit dice to rest? Oh, I already did. I rolled a two, I think. No, that's that's from Remy's dice. that's Remy's song of rest. Okay, do I do I also roll my do a hit short dice? rest? To do a short rest, you have to click on hit dice on your sheet. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, you can click you as. Uh, you can only click, like as you can click as many times as you want, but you should just do it if like do it once and then see if you need to roll another one after you see what you roll and stuff like that. What do we do for, uh, Grim Song? Uh, roll a d6. Just one? Alright. That, that adds to your, uh, health that you regain during the short rest. So you could also okay. roll your hit dice if you decide. Okay. Nice. Or doing a short rest, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's how it's Wait, going. so, so I have asked this, how long is a short rest? Because I could go into trance depending on the time. 
It's 30, 30 minutes. Hour. 30, oh. 30 oh, minutes. 30 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. Wait, so I add, okay, I do this and then I do. It's yeah, a trance counts as a long rest. It's not. It's a Wait, short so rest before I heal. Does that mean I healed 13? Yes. Oh, I'm back to full health. Oh my god. Thank you, Grim. You're quite welcome. If you so want, Ollie, we can. Ollie, you can keep rolling your hit dice. Okay. Until you reach yeah. the yeah, you can. So you see it? You have seven right there. You can roll it seven times. So you've already rolled one. Until you reach your, and however many times Where... you want until you reach you know, your desired. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, I see it now. Remember yeah. that you can only go up to sixty-six. So you rolled it two more times. Gotcha. So you only have five more hit dice left in case you want to rest up later on. Mm -hmm. And okay, one more. I didn't more... know about that mechanism. Yeah, and one more rule, after a long rest, you only gain back half, uh... Half of your hit dice. Half of your maximum hit dice? Yep. Yeah. So if you use seven right now, you only gain back three. Yeah, gotcha. After a long rest, so yeah. Also, after you guys are done rolling hit dice and stuff, we can take a break. Alright, just pretend the music that's playing is the music that Grim plays to you. Oh. <laughs> No, I, wait, I want you. I wait, want just, you just to want actually me. sing it. I, I could if you guys want me to actually sing something. No, never mind about that. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I have several songs prepared, but I was figuring I would wait for a more dramatic moment. <laughs> yeah, can all the songs be copyrighted? Huh? Huh? Can all the songs that you sing be copyrighted then? No. <laughs> Prize and demonetization. Yeah, yeah. We're not even monetized to begin with. All right, I'm going to go on break kind of and I'm going to go pee. So. Okay. <laughs>
There it is. Jester oh. eats ass. God, that for was, free. It's really loud. Excuse me. Oh, excuse you. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> so, so condescending. Me? Yeah. No, you. No, you. No. <laughs> Oh, I love this episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that episode. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's such a great episode. So you guys are just in the tavern, um, taking a, like just chilling and taking a rest. Um, Grim, you play music? Mm -hmm. Is it just for the Song of Rest, or are you performing? It's just a Song of Rest. It's just mostly calming. Okay. Instrumental, not so much singing. Okay. <sighs> so do you guys want to do anything else in the meantime? <laughs> no. Um... I'll probably go. A uh, service is gonna like look around and look. Um, do I see Adrian anywhere? Yeah, Adrian's with you. Oh, he's like right next to me. <laughs> I mean, I would say that he's. I, I guess he's next to you <laughs> if we're going by the map. Prepare okay. yourself, Preston. <laughs> Preston, are you here? Before I start. Oh hell. I'm back. I'm back. What? Oh, okay. oh, okay. Okay. I, had to, uh, okay. I had to go put something away. Okay, just checking. Hmm. Did I have to say something? No, uh, Sylvius was about to talk to you. Okay, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So, what happened back there? I apologize, didn't I? Don't think you need much more than that. Did you freeze up, or what? I don't know why it's so important. <laughs> It's important because it's my life. Well, Sylvius, I'm sorry that your life revolves around the entire party. <laughs> but I apologize. I don't need to explain every single bit of what I did. But I will for your courtesy. I don't know. To be fully honest, if I could explain to you, I would. But I do not fully know what happened. It was just a mistake. But you can't... <clears throat> antagonize me for that. That's the one mistake to make. I know it almost cost the life of someone, that's why I apologize. Let's, let's, not, let's not make it happen again. I won't. Good. I'll down my drink and I'll head upstairs. Okay. I want to worry. Are the rest of you? I want to worry too much about him, Adrian. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. He's being his normal self. But it's not right for me to judge him. Everyone has their own personality and way of living, and I get why he's concerned. But it wasn't, I'll admit, it wasn't a nice mistake to make. But I'm just glad we're all alive. Me too. Honestly, that's what matters most. <sighs> Alright. Um, is, well, is Rictavio here? Yeah, Rictavio's in, um, he's sort of like, yeah. He's over here, and you can see that he's, like, telling a very, uh, what, lively story? You can hear him, like, telling stories like he usually does. Huh. Well, if you don't mind, I'm going to go catch up with an old friend. Um, I'll come back here in just a moment, and I'll go over there and listen to him finish talking, telling his tale. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Sylvius, as you walk up and walk up to, you just get up to leave, and as you do so, the door opens, and standing in the doorway is this person. This is not the right music for this, uh, but uh, I'll just pause it. Oh boy. Sylvius, are you going to move your token? Yeah. Grab my own business. Where the hell is Sylvius? He's in the upstairs. 
No, he didn't make it upstairs. He stood oh. up from. He stood up from. He the didn't table. make it upstairs. He died halfway through. <laughs> yeah. I would say he got here. <laughs> oh, and, shit. Um, oh, this oh, guy. I just teleported. Oh wait, there's two of you. <laughs> do we all? Do we, do, we, do, we, do we all see him? Oh yeah. Shalaba. Strahd, right? Tap it, tap it. That, no, that's not Strahd. Oh, he looks like him. Look at the Good top things. of his head. Why are, are you thinking all vampires look the same? Really? Yes. Possibly. <laughs> wow. Wait, why are there too many? What the hell? It's okay. <laughs> okay. I love there. the way I'll, just, I'll say out. she's with you. <laughs> okay. And, um,. You get up to walk to the door, but the door opens, and that figure walks in. And as soon as he does, everyone kind of quiets and, like, looks over, like, he's, what the hell? Because he looks very different than anyone else in town. He's very well-dressed. Uh, I don't know what exactly he's wearing, but he's wearing nice clothes. Um, and he'll turn to you guys. Wait, Sylvius, how far are you away from him? <laughs> I'm sorry. Give me a second. I'm doing a lot of things. Uh, Sylvius, mm. as he stands in the doorway, you can hear um, howling screams of men and women. Oh no, uh, it's this radiating. dude. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, as he stands there, you man. can hear what? You can hear howling screams of countless men and women just radiating from him. What, is he like a boombox? I like hear people screaming He's from him. He's carrying a boombox on his shoulder. <laughs> Yo, listen. <Yeah. laughs> he's, he's playing a Michael Bublé song. That's why you hear countless screams of men and women. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Minnie I immediately him. starts... No, it's it's tortured screams. Oh. Uh, and Minnie immediately just starts whimpering and like backing away from him. Wait, a radiating like from him or like behind him outside? From him. Oh, from him. Okay, I thought Whoa. it was like. Oh, Wait, can you fuck? do this as well? Yeah, Preston, Ramon, you guys also hear this. And he just looks very calm, very dignified. Uh, he'll turn to you, Sylvius, and the rest of you guys who are standing near him. Uh, and he'll say, <clears throat> uh, Hello, I am the Chamberlain of the Lord Strahd, Master of the Baratok Valley. Oh, shit. I believe he invited you all to dinner. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm just wondering why you guys haven't showed up. Well, we never got an official date as far as I know. Was it today? No. Oh, um, I kind of accidentally made two plans. Hmm. That conflict, so I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I oh, didn't yeah. mean to. Well, there you go. I'm assuming what? he wants to have the dinner now. No, not today. It is a bit late for dinner at this point. Well then, what? My lord will be expecting you tomorrow. What time? In the evening. When dinner should be served. Well, I guess we'll. See you and your master tomorrow. He'll nod and then he'll walk out. Mm. <laughs> well, spooky. There we go. Fun guy. How's Minnie <laughs> looking? Minnie is whimpering and just refusing to like move any closer to the door. Did I feel, like, scared somehow? 
No, not really. Hmm. While well, everyone rests up, we have a big day tomorrow. Oh wait, Grim, are you over by the, the tables or are you standing there? I was walking over towards the tables when the dude entered. Hmm. Give me a second, let me roll a perception check for him. Yeah. Did I hear what happened? Yeah, you hear it. Because everyone went quiet whenever he entered, so. Yeah. Oh, actually, before he leaves, I'm going to write down something. Before he leaves, he's going to look at you, Grim, and kind of narrow his eyes a bit. But he doesn't say anything. And then he'll leave. Oh, God, I hate it. <laughs> no, I hate it so much. Why? Grim doesn't know who this guy is. Nope. I know he doesn't. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a pleasant fellow. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes. So we're just going to just uh, wait until Minnie's calmed. I'm going to pet her, pet her. And wait until she's calmed, then he's going to go upstairs. That was interesting. Yeah. That man reeks of death. Who was he? Apparently the... What did he say? Uh, attendant of... of um, Strad? Or something like that. Something along those lines. I, uh, Are I we just gonna sleep here? I Confused. mean, yes, we should. We should sleep here. This is the good place to sleep, but this kind of messes things up. Do I know if we can make it to uh, Castle Ravenloft in a day? It'll probably take like a few hours. A few hours. God, wow. Brovia is small. Okay. <laughs> Brovia is very small. Well, we could leave in the morning, or we could do a few things here first, and we should be able to be in tack back in time for your commitment, Bagul. Oh, yeah, okay. Presuming, you know, we are still alive. Um, which is our number one concern. Yeah. Uh, Bagul, I, I meant to ask you. Um, tell me more about this powerful mother of yours. You mentioned she was powerful, and you yourself are a pretty incredible wizard. Why? I'm just curious. I've never seen you admit to somebody else's power like that before. Oh, okay. Well... If I tell you that, will you tell me why you go glowy during our fights? I will do my best. Then I will also do my best. Um... Where do I start? My mother is our... Our tribe's leader. She, uh, she was kicked out originally from our original tribe after trying to incite a, uh, trying to go against my dad. And so, because she was the village chief's wife, the, that tribe was split in half. So in the end, they, they split in half. I see. Jesus, I need to lower down this music, it's weird. <laughs> it's very loud. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just playing entirely too loud. <laughs> All talking. No, oh, that's yeah, okay, Sylvia, can you hear me correctly? Alright. <clears throat> yeah, he'll just go inside and just... Uh, rest up and check his inventory and all that. 
Okay. But yeah, so I went with my mother because I was only a little kid. I see. And she took me away from my dad and she told me that his tribe was more of the bloodthirsty orcs, but she traveled on her own and discovered that friendships could be made between humans and uh, that's how she became so powerful, I guess. She gave me these gloves as like a uh, a birthday present before she told me to go out and explore. I say, and those gloves are helpful. Very. I can extend my fist's range with this. Oh, that's that's how you do it. I was kind of wondering about it. Yeah, she said someone powerful gave it to her. Well, that's very interesting. Yeah, but she's still very scary. <laughs> and that's very... why I'm out. That's why I'm out here right now. She said to learn about everything so that I can be a good leader one day. Well, that's very sweet. I understand why you respect her so much. It's, um... <laughs> I have to. If not, I would have been killed. Well then, that's um, doubly respectful. Respect respectable. Wow. Words are hard while you're playing. Maybe you should just stop. Yeah, you make you make a good you can make a good point. <laughs> Well, I guess that was your end of the deal. Um, to be completely honest with you, I'm not entirely sure how or why I do it. Um, it just kind of happens, you know? Kind of like, I'm not sure that you completely understand your magical abilities. Um, no, I completely understand it. Do you now? Oh, well then. I'm jealous. <laughs> As you look at him, his eyes go cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, um, I can say that I have, um, a bit of a fascination with stars, and so I would like to imagine that the stars are kind of helping me as I do it. Oh, maybe I can throw you to the stars and you can grab one. Maybe, maybe one day, not today. Oh, okay. God, now I'm just imagining a level 20 Bagul actually chucking Grim You, you know the that's stars. what's gonna happen at level 20. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was thinking the same thing, him. man. I was thinking the same thing. What are the rest of you guys doing? I'm just kind of drowsing on the table. <laughs> you, um, you took a sip of wine and you just crashed face first yeah, on the table. I, I, she weighs like a hundred pounds, man. <laughs> um, I cur I can't find um a um pull up bar, nor can I find a teddy bear to snuggle with. So I'm deciding who I should snuggle with tonight. <laughs> okay. Who's gonna be my teddy bear? Sylvia closes his door and locks it. <laughs> <laughs> Which Wait, room you are you share, in? You share the room with other people, Sylvia. Oh, wait Sylvia's until they come room up. Are you in? I think I'm in the big one. The big okay. one. Okay. I was with, with Adrian and I don't know who else. By the way, do I remember uh, the priest uh, having holy water? Uh, You never asked. All right. Well, I might stop by there uh, before I actually go to bed, if that's okay. okay. If not, sorry, I'll do it tomorrow. Um, I would say you have a bit of time. You could go. As I'm, as I <laughs> lay down, I'm just like, oh, and I just get back up. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, oh, it's too early to sleep. I gotta go do something. <laughs> I just put on my boots and just like uh, head out. Okay. Anyone else want to do anything? I just start uh, 
asking for more. Can I get more wine? Erwin uh, brings out a pitcher of wine and gives you some. I chug it. Can I make a a roll to see how well I chug it? Yeah, constitution saving throw. Holy shit. Oh, not bad. I saw the two and I got excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you you this is this wine isn't too alcoholic, so you handle it pretty okay. Give me more. Alrighty then. Yep, he'll pour you another glass. He, does he have disadvantage because he's drunk? No, he's not drunk yet. Now he might he be. <laughs> yep, he is now. <laughs> she is, I suppose. <laughs> oh, Give she, sorry. me some more. Uh, I think that's enough for her. Mm. Oh, she's, she's mighty and uh, strong. I'm sure she can handle another one. Uh, you can have another if you would like. Right, Soma? I'm fine. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna drink another one? Oh, yeah, I was waiting. Okay, roll a constitution save with disadvantage. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. All right, it- you're like, okay, you're- I think I'm getting used to this. Oh, Let's sorry. go for one more, guys. Um, I'm, I'm kind of worried now. Don't- don't go overboard. <laughs> I'll be fine. Oh my god. Yep, you're able to handle this one too. Oh my god. I was gonna say I roll with get... double disadvantage, but that's not a thing. Let's see if I can get one more. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Why are you spending all your good rolls? No, Wait. I'm gonna say. Uh, um, no, that was just an right? blackout at this point. <laughs> Alright, I'm gone. Yep. Oh Soma, Soma managed to down her third, fourth drink, and then just passes out on the table. <laughs> she can be my uh, snuggle bear tonight while I sleep. Oh god. No. You aren't okay, there, I Sylvia. Sylvia's isn't there. <laughs> Title 9. Uh, I guess I'll just snuggle on to... On to this chair. <laughs> okay. Um, yep, Soma, Soma's passed out. Uh... Anyone else? I'll nope. just go... I'll just go and grab a tablecloth and just put it on her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There aren't any tablecloths, so... Okay, now I'll just place a table. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Um, so, well, before you do that, can you help carry her to one of the rooms upstairs? Oh uh, yeah, no problem. Should I use the stairs or or dig a hole and then climb stairs, up? Stairs, please. Dig a oh, hole okay. and climb up? Okay. Wait. <laughs> Something to, about that doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can just sit on the table and try to jump. But I guess I'll use the stairs. Yes, please. Okay. Would we'll drag him upstairs. Oh, uh, can you make me some? Okay. Uh, which room are you guys dragging Soma into? Uh, the um, one we did last time. Was it this one? This one? Yeah. I yeah. guess. Okay. You just drag Soma up into bed. Yeah. Sylvia's. Yeah. You head over to the church. Oh. And you see how many people there? And oh, let me like give me a second. You see, um about ten adults in there. Um and also, like, ten children kind of just huddling together. Um, this is not the music for that. Grim, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> just some ambiance. Yeah.
and they're they're kind of i don't i don't know how churches work is, is it like mass a church i go to church, church. what are you talking about church, church. maybe give you some <laughs> like they're they're listening to the, knowledge, the thing sir. that happens at church mass <laughs> what preach <Preaching>. yeah. <laughs> think, okay i was right i guess it is mass and that, that was correct you're doing the, the thing the thing at church you know the you know <laughs> the lord rises up yeah father well, lucian's um preaching leading. preaching thank you preaching. so this is gonna i was gonna say leading the mass but i don't know it's it's doing okay. his no, thing. Yeah, i mean I, I, I don't i'm not catholic so i don't know all the terms for that I don't, I don't know yet. So he's, uh, he's just preaching and... Oh, preaching and they're listening. Yeah. yeah. Stand, kneel, sit. sit stand, stand, kneel, kneel sit. Yes, yeah, being a know. Catholic is hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially when you're a kid with ADHD, man. That's yeah. uh, for yeah. me. I used to like, crawl under the fucking pews and <laughs> bother other people. <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> so is just going to enter, take off his hat, and just going to just... Wait until the mass is done. Okay. God, uh, you kind of seem like very cowboy right now. <laughs> Sorry, my vati's. I want <laughs> my vati's coming in. Um. Yeah. So I'll say that takes a few hours. Uh. But once it gets pretty Damn. dark outside, Catholic um. <laughs> everyone starts to leave. <laughs> I'll as everyone's leaving. I'll. Head over to Father. Hi, you were with the group earlier, right? Yes. Um, good sermon today. Thank you. Is there something I could help you with? Yes, I came over. You know the. Well, I wouldn't say situation we're in. I guess situation we're in. And I was wondering if you had any extra holy water for us. Um, unfortunately, I don't keep any. You don't keep any sorts of holy water, holy oil, any of that stuff? Mm-mm. I don't have the means to make it. Do you know, then, how to make it? Um, I, yeah, I think so. It's been a long time, but I might remember. What if I get the materials for you and I bring it back? Would you be able to make me holy water or or holy oil? Yes, I I think I could. Then you give me a list of the things. I will come back with the materials, and if you can make it for me, I would be much, very much appreciative. Uh, let me try to remember what it takes. That's as Michelle I look talking. This up. Yeah, that's yeah. Michelle <laughs> talking. <laughs> Beep, boop, boop. Rebooting. Recalculating. Searching. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Searching. 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 Bum, bum, bum. Bum, okay. bum, 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 oh, bum. Spazzing. Are you okay? <laughs> it's the window I would just starting need you... Song. Oh. You're going to have to explore. Fine. I would just need you to bring... Um... A lot of powdered silver. Hmm. Where would I go to get the silver powder? Wait, is say it, that again? Is there a way I can uh, go to a blacksmith and get powdered silver? Uh, there's not very much in town. No blacksmith? Well, there are blacksmiths, but they mainly just make simple... Hmm. Iron tools and weapons. I'll take a look around. Anything else? Uh, no. I just need silver. Hmm. Because I have silver coins. Hmm. I don't like... think that works. Alright. It All needs right. to be 25 gold pieces worth of powdered silver. Out of game. That's why he just said a lot of silver. But... Hmm. I'll take a look around. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow morning. He'll nod. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Again. Good sermon. He'll nod at you again. 
Oh, I'll I, I just imagine he says good sermon, but rewind time, and it's just Sylvia sleeping in the back pew. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just head back. Okay. What are the rest of you guys doing? Oh, I'm drunk. I'm oh, well, you're asleep. I'm waiting for um, Rictavio to finish his story. Oh yeah, you're standing over there and you can hear him um, telling a story about this man with no legs who is like an amazing drinker. Like he can drink two whole casks of wine without even getting drunk. Hmm. Yeah, and then once, I mean, once he finishes that story, um, he'll... He starts drinking, uh, just a you know a cas casket, no a cas casket. Mm, yes, <laughs> no. No. he drinks himself to the grave. Drop <laughs> it. No. He'll just be drinking from the cup. I'll come and sit down across from him. Hello there, Octavio. Hello, Grim. How are you? I'm doing well. You would not believe what I've been through the past couple of days. Could add to your stories a bit. Really. Yeah, for sure. And I'll sit down and tell him what we've done. So like, what far. do you specifically, I guess, tell him? All right, I will tell him about. Um... Oh boy, what will I tell him? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'll tell Somebody. him about going to um, the hill. What's the hill called again? Yester. Yester Hill. Tell him about going to Yester Hill and seeing the giant statue. Mm -hmm. um, talk about the tree and the axe that was there. Mm -hmm. um, talk about meeting Strahd on the way back. Mm -hmm. Then talking about going to Baba Lazaga and fighting Baba Lazaga. And then the recent events of today. Just like the fact that there were um, some... Um, vampies in the in the city. Wow, that's amazing that you guys made it out alive of all of that. I got to tell you, I'm not. I don't know how I did it, really. Ugh, it's quite incredible. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Just been telling stories. Not very eventful nowadays. Yeah. Well, festival's coming up. Apparently, Bagul has to do a speech. So, should be interesting. interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, that'll be interesting to see. Indeed. For sure. Indeed. Alrighty, I won't bother you anymore. Well, if you'll excuse me, I will also go to sleep. So. Fair enough. It's late now? Yeah, it's nighttime. All right. I'm gonna walk over to Adrian. <laughs> He's just chilling by himself, I guess. Yep, I guess so. Are you all right? I, was uh, I think Preston said he was gonna be right back. Okay, we'll just we'll just assume <laughs> that Preston is yeah. actually there, and I'll go upstairs to bed. <laughs> okay. Do that instead. Excuse me. Which room um, are you going into? Well, the one that I I've been living in, which oh yeah, I'll walk in and boop. There we go. Okay. Boop. I think Adrian was also in the same room. No, 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 no. Bagul and I were in the room. Adrian oh, okay. was with Silius. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and where's Swole sleeping? Um, I'll be walking up and down the stairs while trying to fall asleep. Uh, it takes you a while. Uh, but you eventually do fall asleep on the stairs. Yeah. 
I imagine Sylvius is getting back when um, Swole is still walking up and down the stairs, and Sylvius is just like. I oh, know. I I just imagine Swole is like running up and down the stairs. Uh, I, I quickly try to go to my room and close it behind me. <laughs> Come Would you yeah. like to, it's, a, it's a horror uh, game. Also, <laughs> like, um, if I'm facing. walking up and down the stairs, no one can really pass me because I'm kind of like s s five, no, six foot wide. Enough. You are not six feet wide. I don't know. <laughs> are you sure? The shoulders, say... though, man. The shoulders and biceps. Look at that bulge. Oh my god. <laughs> I would say Sylvia is able to like kind of slink around you. I think okay yeah and as you guys fall asleep um you guys have Strahd or dinner with Strahd tomorrow and <laughs> the festival of the blazing sun in two days mm -hmm. um so yeah I think that would be a good place to end this session oh boy, oh boy. yeah oh boy. early oh end boy. for once exciting no stuff. combat would yeah. Sylvius, would you let Adrian into the room? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just let... Well, Sylvius is just, you know... Edgy. Just, con just concerned, you know, if he's not fully, like... Like, I don't know, into to it. To the task? Yeah, to the task. And just wants to make sure... It's not like a... I don't think he's like a dick. He just wants to make sure everything's 100%. Well, he is in the four assholes of the apocalypse, so I can't say if he's a dick or not. <laughs> this is true. This is very true. All right. Good session, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Good session. Hey. Thank you guys Anything we need to do before we end the stream? One more no. shot. Wait, do we need to level up? No. Level up again. Damn level eight. Damn nope. Nope. After nope. I took down all can, of those beer can, bottles. Okay, look. Can... <laughs> Can Remy and I level up to level 20 so I can throw him to catch a star? No. Listen, listen, in the epilogue of this c campaign, we can make it happen, okay? Yeah. We can make that the epilogue. We just I need to actually want to throw you. I actually want to throw you. Maybe in one of the fights, you could just decide to throw me. <laughs> Did you end it? Yeah. Oh, I Scott. No, I, I haven't ended it, but I will soon. Hey, people out can, there watching us, can, if you are watching You can us. throw him and he can spear into an enemy <laughs> first. Join us on By Sunday. By God! <laughs> Join us on Sunday for um, uh, Droop's Minions. And we don't know when the four assholes is going to be, but we'll figure that out. Too. Sometime eventually. Yes, exactly. This is a rough week, but we'll see what happens. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.